All right, we're going to create some 3D documents with all of the different rendering options that, uh, that we can create using our 3D document window. So we'll have a base view. Once we've developed that base view, we'll then be adding in additional representations using hatch and shadow. We've got some people in here. We'll take the people out on one of the views as well, so, or most of the views. The people will therefore just be used uh, as a scale reference. And then we'll finally have another one, which is a block color, which will allow us to use our magic wand in Photoshop. So we need to maybe change some of these or remove some of these. Uh, some of this is in the way. I don't want to be cutting through this piece of furniture at the moment. That's not working for how I'm, I'm working. So let's go back to the lobby and we need to see where we're cutting just to see what we can do to eliminate some of these problems. So we've got this bamboo couch here that's sort of in the way. Uh, how, how did we create this in the first place? We used the marquee tool and we marqueed off the area that we wanted to view. So let's do this this time and we'll just cut out that couch. So it's cutting away a little bit more than desired. The other option of course would just be to remove this couch from the 3D view for this particular render, but it, it won't make that much of a difference. We'll go back into the 3D view, we'll start from scratch. We'll adjust, sorry let's change that back again. Let's go show selection marquee in 3D, not show all. Then we want to zoom in enough that we can see the area that we want. I will shrink down or move down so we're at a normal person sort of height and we'll use this as our render view. So we'll save this as a save view. Let's create a new one. We'll just call this new lobby render. I'm not too worried about the, the texture surface of these. Uh, we'll change that later because we don't want um, the purple and black squares, uh, but we're not trying to create anything photorealistic at the moment. That's not necessary. From here, we're going to create a 3D document. So again, we'll start to call these, we'll call this uh, a new 3D, and we'll call this one base 